Hello guys, I have um, a question from one of the uh, comments. He says, um, what's the difference between an ETF and a stock? It means there is always confusion and a lot of beginners, they have this uh, confusion. They don't understand what's the difference. So this video, we have 10 ways to understand an ETF. I will explain what is it in just a, a few seconds. Okay, so let's go to uh, explanation. Now, as you can see, 10 ways to understand uh, ETFs. Now, the first thing, one, an ETF, which is called an exchange traded fund, it's just a fund. It's just a fund that attracts an index. Okay, so let's, uh, let's explain all this for those who uh, who um, have confusion now an example an index is like the Dow Jones industrial average almost everyone know what is it it's the DJ 30 it means we have 30 stocks and the average of them is called an index okay so this is called the index now what does an ETF do? In ETF, it is just a stock that tracks an index, whatever is the index. Okay? So, um, and this, for example, I'll just give you an example. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is 30 stocks, this is the index. Now, what is the ETF that tracks it? It's called DIA. Okay, so um, so it's very simple. There are a lot of indexes or what we call indices in the market. An index is just very simple. You find many stocks, they put them together and they have a price. The average is the price of these stocks. So in order to uh, give you a clear uh, example, I always give the example because it is simple and everyone knows uh, this kind of index. So let's go to the chart. Okay. In this chart, you see what we call here Dow Jones, which is DJ-30. So this is if you are using my chart. Now, what does it mean DJ-30? It means these are 30 stocks and the biggest companies in USA they are called also blue chips. And this is the price, $24,682.31. Now, you, you can't buy an index. Okay, the index is too much, it's too expensive. And no one is buying an index. But they find a solution to the indexes. What is it? It is a, a, tr a stock that tracks this. For example, if the Dow Jones goes up, the ETF goes up. If the Dow Jones go down, the ETF go down. So what is the ETF that tracks Dow Jones? So it is called DIA, which is SPDR, which is a spider. This is just the name of the, of the ETF. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF. Please, when when you see ETF, understand that it is an ETF tracking an index. It's a stock, yes, but it is not a company. Okay, it tracks an index that has a lot of companies. Now the stock is two hundred forty-six dollars sixty-two cents for today, which is the twenty-first of March two thousand eighteen. This is today. Okay, if I click this, you will see on the on the left side, Wednesday, March 21st, 2018. Okay, so this is the first thing I want just to uh, to mention. At least uh, from the beginning, you understand what is an ETF. It is just a stock that tracks an index. As easy as that. So let's go to the second thing. Now, second, we say an ETF, it is a stock so you can buy it or 
sell short it or sell it short okay mistake in this okay so uh, it's very simple ETF it's like a stock it means you can uh, you can buy it in the morning you sell it in the afternoon uh, you can go long it means you go long if you think that the stock uh, the stock is going up you buy it long now if you think that uh, the stock for example um, okay if you think that the stock is going down you sell it short it is, it is as simple as that now number three you can invest in an ETF and hold it forever okay so what does it mean if you you want just the average in either the whole market or part of the market or uh, for example uh, uh, let's say for example uh, the Dow Jones Dow Jones are 30 stocks it means and 30 stocks because the Dow Jones are uh, very looked at because it is uh, one of the major indexes it has only 30 stocks but since these stocks are so big and they are uh, they are so big stocks it means their way in the market is too much that's why the people they just see okay what's the mood of the market today is it going up going down is there a trend uh, up or there is a downtrend okay so this is uh, why uh, the indexes are very important in the stock market and always when you go to tv you go to uh, 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 any tv any website most of the time they talk about these indexes and they see wh what they have done uh, today now let's go to the number four four the etf gives you the mood of the index it represents okay so to understand this sometimes you see for example a stock is going up and you go to an index like Dow Jones it's going down in the same day you ask yourself why is that it means the Dow Jones gives you the majority of the stocks what they are doing today is the majority but not not all the stocks are doing the same even in the same index okay so that's why people are always confused uh, they go to Apple they say they find it's going up they go to Facebook it's going down they go to Twitter it's going down okay so there is always confusion in the market it's just because people they don't know what to do how to search for stocks how to buy them and they have no criteria so they just they are always confused so in order not to be confused think that uh, the ETF just says uh, what the index is doing what are these stocks doing in general because they will they will not tell you which stock is going up which stock is going down but if the majority is going are going down you will see that the whole index is going down so it's very simple now let's go to number five an ETF has less fees than a mutual fund okay here uh, in order uh, in order to understand that this this name of an ETF it is a fund a fund it means they are there is a company who made this fund now since they made this fund they take a percentage of this fund yearly this percentage for example for um, uh, for an automatic ETF like this it's less than one percent less it could be 0 uh, 0.45 or 0 0.60 if you want to know any etf you just google it put the etf name and google it it will show you um, what is the fees okay but this fees is is hidden it is inside the so don't worry about it because you are not going to see the fees cut uh, in one day of the year or something it is hidden so that's why don't worry about it but what you should understand that they take little bit but you should see how much they take because they say it in the 
in their uh, in their page if you go to the page for example for the index they will tell you how much uh, how much they take each year it is less than one one percent it could be uh, uh, 0 0.50 0 0.30 it depends so you you can check uh, these ETFs and you can see how much they take now an ETF is different from a mutual fund a mutual fund it is also having stocks but the fees are more you can find a mutual fund with two dollars or three dollars okay and uh, uh, three uh, not two, three dollars two percent or three percent so try to make sure to see because in each year they take these fees from the fund so the price goes down so it will not uh, they will not show you which day they will take it or so so don't don't worry about this because it is a hidden thing but you should know if you you are for example uh, let's say i'm i'm just giving you an example let's say you you have a 401 a 401k you have you have an investment plan in your in your work Either you are uh, in, a, in a retail company or you are in a technology company, whatever company you are in, try to see what is the investment plan that you have. Let's say 401k. 401k, you can go to, um, to what is inside where they put your money, you find mutual funds. Now, mutual funds, they take fees and each one take special fees. So you can enter inside your account okay you can do that you can even change if you don't like it you can change it so you are not obliged uh, to um, you are not obliged to leave uh, your 401 as it is you have the right to change whatever but they give you a limited choice for example they give you let's say 10 mutual funds you, you can't change that okay but you can choose if you see a mutual fund is not doing good performance, let's say it's doing bad or it's going down or it's not doing as the market is doing, so you can change that. You can take money from that and you put it in another one. Okay, so it's your choice. Now let's go to uh, number uh, six. Number six, we say it's easy to target sectors and industries or even bonds with ETF. Now, uh, what does what does this mean what does this mean to target sectors uh industries or even bonds what does it mean is let's say you you see technology stocks are going so good you see the chart and you think they are good and you think they are they continue to be good for a long trend what you should do is very easy you go to uh, technology uh, sector uh, ETF and you buy it that's it so let's say you see um, another sector that it is going down or industry that it is going down and you think that it will continue going down so you can go and short it short it it means you sell short it you sell uh, you sell uh, you sell it short it means you borrow shares from your broker and you sell it short for well, whatever whatever uh, uh, months you want or forever. But understand that when you sell short a stock, you should pay interest rate. Okay, so understand that. Don't be mistaken. Now, let's go to uh, number seven. An ETF reduces your risk in the market since an ETF is tracking the whole index full of stocks that means you will be always getting the average of all the stocks okay so here just to mention this why we say an etf reduces your risk why because if you buy for example i'm not speaking about etfs right now let's say you buy a stock let's say this stock you you buy it for long you have for example ten thousand dollars and you say to yourself okay why i should go and buy mini stocks or mini etfs okay i buy this company stock it looks good i buy it and they leave it for one year or two years or five years and they will see what will happen 
Okay? Now, let's say this stock is going down and you lose a lot. You lose 40%, 50%, or 70%. Don't tell me that, uh, oh, where are these stocks? Yes, there are stocks that they lose a lot. In six months, in one year, they lose a lot. And you, if you put all your money, let's say you put, you put $10,000 in January, and in December you see your investment, you find $5,000. So, so you lose 50% 50, 50 of your money. This is not a good investment, okay, to buy one stock. Now, Let's say you buy index. Let's say you buy Dow Jones. Just an example. It can go by percentage, 5% or 10% or except there is an exception when there is a bad year. We are not talking about bad year, bad year like 2008 because it happens only once in 10 years or 15 years, or 20 years. So we are not speaking about that. We are speaking about the regular years. So you will see that even if you lose, you don't lose that much. You lose 2%, 5%, 10%. And you can make 10%, 15%, 20%. So your risk is limited. So this is why people, they, uh, they buy mutual funds and they buy uh, et uh, ETFs. They say, okay, it's, it's just give me the average of the stocks that are in, so I don't care that much about the risk. So it's not a big, big, big risk. Okay? Here, I'm not talking about bad years, like 2008, or, because the, uh, in, in bad years, the whole market is, is collapsing. So either you should use uh, uh, what you call um, puts, options, or you, could, or you can uh, uh, short the whole market with, uh, with other ETFs. Now let's go to number eight. No need for stop loss since you are investing for the long run. Now, this is uh, for you guys who are asking about stop loss if you buy this ETF. Now, think about this. If you are buying, uh, holding an ETF, this index, for m more than one year, okay? This is called investing. One year, two years, five years, six years. And you want to get the average, okay? You want to get the average. So... Uh, you don't need to put stop loss. Put, we put stop loss in day trading and in swing trading when it is short time. Why? Because we buy thinking that the stock has a trend. Like for us when we are swing traders. Why, why we put stop loss? Because at the beginning, we buy on momentum. We buy on the right day. This is the criteria. This is the signal. Now, if the stock is against us, why we should stay? Okay, it's not investing. It's not because it goes against us, we should stay and hold. If we stay and hold, it will take a high percentage and we will be losing a lot. So we, what we do as a swing traders, we put stop loss. If the stock doesn't go as we wish and it's going against us, we exit this stock and we buy another stock, okay? So for ETF, it is the same thing. But since you, you are investing for the long run, for many years, don't bother yourself to put stop loss because you don't need it. Because the, this ETF can go up, can go down, go up, go down into many trends. So you don't worry a lot about this. Okay, so it's very really good for those people who don't want to use uh, stop loss. Now, number nine, you can also day trade or swing trade or even invest in an ETF, okay? So, as we can say here, trade, T-R-A-D-E, okay? So you can also day trade or swing trade or or even invest in, uh, in an ETF. What does it mean here, to make you clear, to make it clear for you, that when you see an ETF, it should it should it should tell at the end of the name of this company or this fund it should tell you an ETF. Now I will give you just an example to just uh, check. Okay. Now see here. Here uh, ETF. It's written ETF. Okay. It's written. Now if you go to let's say Facebook. 
okay just an example you go to Facebook okay you see here Facebook Inc so there is no ETF here why because Facebook is a company okay it is a company and uh, it is not an ETF it doesn't uh, represent an index or it's its own uh, its own company okay so whenever you find ETF like if we take another one okay so here is PowerShare Trust one okay so QQQ this is another ETF but here they don't put in ETF but it is an ETF it, the main thing is it's, uh, it says financial services close fund uh, close and fund equity okay and uh, from uh, from my chart you you will find a list of ETF if you are interested okay so uh, let's see here let's see here okay so here if you go to my chart you find the scan component industry you find etf if you click click etf you will find all the etf here so they are too many and each year they produce more etf so it depends on you what you want to target okay so there are a lot a lot a lot for example you want uh, real estate you uh, pharmacy index you want oil equipment oil and gas exploration medical devices insurance industry sector industrial sector home constructions index fund so all these uh, they are written etf it means they are etfs you can uh, target any anything that you want okay this is just uh, this is just an example so it means if you are searching for ETF and there are a lot of families you can find two ETFs uh, tracking the same industry okay because one company has produced this ETF and another company has produced another ETF so in order to know what are the companies that are listed in their index you should go to it and see what are the companies if you want to if you don't care that much you just uh, see that it is uh, that it is the chart for example let's say let's say I give you an example let's say you want uh, oil and gas exploration and, pro and uh, production index fund where is, where is it okay You take another one let me see here okay so this uh, index that we see it has all these uh, stocks that you see here so all these uh, stocks are inside this ETF So there are a lot. So um, the main thing here, the main thing here, is if you want uh, an index, there are hundreds of indexes, and these indexes are tracked by ETFs. Now these ETFs just follow the index, and as you can see. Uh, you, if you want to see what is this ETF having, like uh, like stocks, you can just, uh, as I showed you, you go to that uh, ETF and you see the stocks. At least you will understand that it is the same industry we are talking about. Now the other one, um, uh, as I as I can say, in number number nine, we are still in number nine. In ETF. You can day trade. It means you can use it as a day trade. It means in the morning you buy it, you wait for half an hour or 50 minutes or or one hour. You do it as it is a stock. So don't uh, don't think that an ETF because it is uh, following uh, an index that it means that it is not uh, usable. You can use it for um, as a stock. 
you can use it for swing trading if you want to uh, it means for a short time for short time uh, period like a few days a few weeks or few months you can even let it for the whole life just an index it attracts something that's it so you always get the average it, it, here it means that you you don't want to think a lot you want just to get what the market is getting that's it okay so and the other one the last one you can get a dividend also now um a dividend as uh, as you know it is a cash payment from the earning of these stocks and it is cut from the price itself so for example um if you have a lot a lot of indexes or a lot of uh, if you buy a lot of stocks with dividend you will get dividend as they uh, as they uh, pronounce them it means as they announce them you will get the yield that they give it to you and you should see in the etf how much they give as a yield okay if they give okay now if they don't give they will tell you that they will they don't will not give dividend so because understand a lot of people why they use dividend dividend it means you have the same shares they don't change for example you buy 1000 shares of, of an ETF and it gives a dividend 5% a year so understand that when they give you a dividend since it is just a cut from the price you will not uh, you will not sell shares now another different example a growth stock let's say it is Facebook now Facebook doesn't give a dividend now let's say you have 1000 shares let's say you make a profit it's good one year two years three years you make a profit which is very good but they don't give you a dividend so what, in order to take money from Facebook what you should do you should sell shares this is the, the only this is the only difference between and the most important uh, difference between um, an ETF and a growth stock that doesn't give dividend okay so if you buy facebook after 10 years let's say it goes to 200 300 500 or 1000 okay let's say you make a lot of money from facebook but the problem is that uh you can't you can take money unless you sell shares and this is too bad because when you sell shares your your uh, your uh, your shares uh, go down and this some investors they don't like they like to buy more not not to sell and how do they get their money is when you have a bigger account you can have a percentage of the dividend this percentage you get it by yourself you should you can take it from your account without hurting your account and this is one of the best things investors all the investors do is they buy stocks with uh with what we call dividend okay so thank you very much please uh, if you have more questions about an ETF and the difference b between it and a stock or a mutual fund, please ask questions because the more you ask questions, the more you give me the opportunity uh, either to make more videos or to, um, or to um, uh, answer your questions as a video. Okay, so thank you very much. Please share my videos and subscribe to my uh, channel if you don't and have a nice night.